one of the most frustrating things that I've seen is for a woman to be married to a man who has no vision. It can create great marital problems. Are you a father? Do you have a father? Or are you expecting to be a father? What does it mean to be a father? This message will show you what fatherhood means and what it takes to be one. Sometimes you have to speak on behalf of your wife because there are certain things she hasn't got the courage to say. You, the man, have to step out and say, she's not saying it. I am saying it. Put it for this. You can order this message through the following means. Place your order on Facebook by posting, order what it means to be a father at the comment section or message window. This message is brought to you by the friends and partners of Kakra Baden. Welcome to Air Power with Kakra Baden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakra is the senior pastor of the Morning Star Cathedral, Lighthouse Chapel International, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Hello. Kakra continues his insightful teaching on the subject of faith under the subtitle, Steps of Faith. Yesterday, he explained that one way to activate our faith is by preparation. Today, he speaks about one level of preparation, mental preparation. Come along. As I see it, faith preparation is on three levels. Level number one is mental preparation. In other words, your mind thinks about it. One person I like in the Bible is Nehemiah. You know, Nehemiah believed that God was going to use him to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. But what I find interesting was he was a slave. It was an impossible situation. But let me tell you something. Even if you are constrained by other things, at least your mind can roam free. You don't have the money for the wedding, but at least your mind, can, your mind can plan it. Because even if I were to give you the money, you still will have to plan. So Nehemiah, pray. Nehemiah 1.11. He said, O oh Lord, I beseech thee, let now thy ear be attentive to the prayer of thy servants, and to the prayer of thy servants who desire to fear your name and to prosper. And grant me mercy and favor in the sight of this man, for I was the king's cup bearer. He prayed. But you see, after he prayed, if we were a typical Ghanaian, it will stop with a prayer meeting and an all night and three day fasting. That's all. Hence that. But you see, it's a process of which prayer is part of the process, but it's not all of the process. So as I see it, many people pray, but mental preparation, zero. It is an act of faithlessness covered with the camouflage of prayer. Because you can be praying and still have not faith. Faith without works is dead. Jeremiah chapter 2 verse 5, he says to the king, If it please the king, and if thy servant has found favor in thy sight, Thou wouldest send me unto Judah, unto the city of my father's sepulchers, that I may rebuild it. Then the king asked me a question. How long shall thy journey be, and when will thou return? He said, how long is this project going to take? You see, Whilst he was there, he was making his mental preparation. He was not just praying, he was just thinking also about the project. So he said, so I set him a time. Verse 7, he said, moreover, if it please the king, let letters be given to me, to the governors beyond the river, that they may convey me over until I come unto Judah. No money! But as for the documents, the kind of support he needs, he has thought about everything in detail. Verse 8, he said, And a letter unto Esau, the keeper of the king's forest, to give me timber to make beams for the gates of the palace, which appertains to the house, and for the wall of the city, and for the house that I shall enter into. He had 
calculated the amount of timber that was needed. I remember when I was building my first house. When I got to the roof, I got stuck. One day, I was standing on the side when my mother-in-law was passing with a certain gentleman who was a contractor. And he went around my house. And he was so impressed. Then he asked me a question. How many pieces of timber do you need to build the roof? I knew the figures already. <laughs> so I gave him the exact favor. And then he said, ah, I will give it to you as a gift. <laughs> so the man said, by faith, Noah, being one of God, moved with fear, prepared. What are the animals going to eat? How will I prevent the lion? from eating the lamb. It was not just a question of God telling him, just build an ark. It involved detailed plans. And as I see it, many people's dreams never come to pass. Why? Faith without works is dead. And one of the works is what? Thanks for tuning in. Today we learned that one of the works of faith is to be mentally prepared. Join us same time tomorrow as Kakra continues this powerful message. Before we go, here's a praise report to boost your faith. Husband got a job. Dear Kakra, my husband and I came to see you to ask for prayer concerning an interview he was to attend the following day. This was a permanent lecturer position. To the glory of God, he was selected and was called back within two days of his appointment letter. All praise to our God. Thanks for your time. You can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full-length message or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 70 Send an email to info at .org. You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you.